Chesterfield, project superintendent with R.B. Banker Construction Company. You asked one widening project. Roughly 11 miles of project, 2.2 million yards of dirt to be moved. Using good loads uh, capacity wise with minimal amount of time loading the pan. They can load themselves and make a cycle quicker than the Bobo and the Ho operation. My name is Kenny Olanger, uh, golf course superintendent. That is the highest point in Charleston County, at elevation 70 feet. All this work out here was done with the pole pan units. We moved approximately a uh, mean and a quarter to a mean and a half yards in about a five month period. We were able to save somewhere between 30 and 40 percent doing this in house. Okay, I'm Steve Ewart, next to Kansas City, Missouri. In the first winter after the flood, we built either rebuilt from scratch, from, from nothing, or rebuilt from what was left of it, over two miles of levee. And by the time we got done, we figured out that we could build more feet of levee in a day with the scraper uh, than we could with any of the other equipment. I mean, and you could do it by yourself, because you could, you could put the top on, you could put the sides on, you could put the grade on. Uh, you didn't have to have a lot of equipment working with you. Uh, Hi, I'm, I'm Mike Williams. Uh, President of Double Oak Construction in Houston, Texas. Uh, we mainly work uh, subdivision, street excavation, detention ponds, drainage ditches. Uh, I started out in this business as a, about a 16 year old kid running big heavy earth movers, 627s, <coughs> 621s, and 433 internationals, all twin engines, two engines, two transmissions. Every time we turned around we were spending <clears throat> ten, fifteen thousand dollars on an engine or a transmission. And back then that was the way we thought. The bigger the machine, the bigger the dozer to push it, the more dirt we would move. Basically these tractors are doing everything that we did before with the big heavy earth movers and the twin engines and the support dozers and right. the bottom line is go buy a brand new uh T S fourteen or a six twenty seven and it just uh ninety days from 90 days from the day you buy it, it's yours, and any, any repairs on it are yours. And uh, you can have two and a half, three of these rigs out for the price of the TS-14. You could have, uh, you could have almost half a dozen of them for the price of a new 627. Of all the operations I've seen, I don't think I've seen anything that is as disefficient and cost effective. But I've looked at trucks and excavators and elevating scrapers and push pull scrapers and conventional scrapers. I've never seen anything that loaded this kind of material this easy. Got rid of it this easy. Miskin offers both dump and push off ejection style scrapers. We build a wide variety of sizes and types of scrapers to best match your particular job and your particular tractor. And then the other option is that a lot of construction people are going to is the top loading the off-road trucks. Well that's a good that's a good idea uh, in some applications it works real well. The only thing is you gotta have an excavator you either own that making monsters notes or you're renting it you got to have support equipment on each end to clean up after the backhoe. You got to have support equipment on the other end to knock down the dump trucks, and then you have to maintain the haul road for them. So, basically, you can come in that same operation with the pull type scrapers, propel with the tractor, go in there, excavate, drag your road on the way back, go down there, drag your fill where you dump it. Sometimes you can load them up and drive around a little extra and compact your fill. Very little does of work to maintain the work done with these, a lot less per day, per hour. When you're in conditions where self-loading just isn't efficient, you can always top load the scrapers. They're excellent for haulers and you can still take advantage of their ability to self-unload and spread their own loads. The scrapers have shields to protect the hydraulic system while top loading. There's a patented hydraulic stabilizing system 
that keeps the wheels on the ground while you top load to keep the scraper from jumping and jerking as the excavator unloads its bucket. Top loading doesn't void the Miskin warranty as it does on some other brands. If top loading scrapers won't work out in your conditions, you can always use pull type dump wagons. Two dump wagons in a train carry 25% more than the largest articulated dump trucks.